Very manageable, just 85. One out in the eighth. Pitch to Tavares is called a strike. Breaking ball over the inside corner around the letters. 0-1. Ryan Brazier back up and throwing in the bullpen for Pawtucket. He'll pitch the ninth. Comes the 0-1. That's a changeup low. One ball, one strike on Tavares, who has grounded out twice to the right side of the infield. First one went to second base, turned into a double play, and he grounded out to first base in the fifth. Left-hander versus left-hander. 2-0 Red Wings. Olt at first base. Now the 1-1. Fastball low and away. 2-1. Mike Olt not going anywhere at first base. He's been dealing with a foot injury after he fouled the ball off right on the right on the shoe of Buffalo the other night. He's got a very small lead. The 2-1 pitch. Swing and a miss. Change speeds again with effectiveness did Gonsalves. It's 2-2. Two two. You can't guess against this guy. That's the thing. He'll throw any pitch in any count. On deck is Jeremy Barfield. Paw Sox have the tying run at the plate in the bottom of the eighth. Gonsalves from his stretch, the 2-2. Oh, it gets past the catcher, Wilson. I don't think it hit the dirt. I think Wilson maybe just missed it, and over to second goes Alt. Ball three, meanwhile, on Anuri Tavares. That did bounce, actually. So that will be, I'm sure, a wild pitch. As we watch the replay on MILB TV, off-speed pitch that hit in the dirt. So now you've got a runner at second for the first time all night. Three and two. One out and the payoff pitch. Strike three called over the outside corner. Got him with a breaking ball. Another good gutsy pitch for Steven Gonsalves. And Anuri is gone. That is strikeout number five on the night for the young left-hander. And, Will, that's going to be his last pitch. Boy, we're looking at the replay 